So for Mount Porter, um, if you have a 4x4 you can drive up this road uh, quite a ways. It was uh, 6 kilometers that we drove up. Eventually you get to this spot where there's um, some culverts and it's really, like really deep. So unless you've got like a, a really short jeep, you're going to have to park and start walking up. Which is uh, just after the 6 kilometer mark is where we parked. So to give you an idea, we we've, uh, drove this high. Let's see, we're pretty high up in the mountains already. Uh, otherwise you'd have to hike the six kilometers up which would add numerous hours to this trail but already fantastic views up here uh, you got Sprout Lake just down there and uh, Mount Klitsa there and this is Mount Porter so here's one of those culverts see how deep down uh, these things get so if your vehicle can clear that, you can drive further up. So you see a fork in the road here, you'd want to take the right path, which goes up here. Amazing views up here. Got all the mountains over there to the west. Uh, Triple Peak and Klitz is over there and whatever else that one is. So now we're inside the trail, give you a look at, you know, some of the steepness. You can tell that I'm going up pretty steep slope. This is horizontal. This is up. So, so the middle section of this trail is pretty forested. Uh, you're not, not really going to get cooked in the sun here. I have a feeling though at the end it will open up quite a bit. It's my first time doing this trail though. Okay, so I've been hiking for an hour and there's this little lake here at the top or I don't know how far up I am. Somewhere near the top, but uh, yeah. Good place for uh, restock some water if you really need it. It's not really the most appetizing water, but you know, for dogs and stuff it'd be perfect. So coming up from over uh, here, um, the way is actually go here, but there's a fork this way that comes down here. You don't want to miss this. Incredible, incredible view, look at that. Where there's a wet dog, there's a pool of water. I think there's a little tarn over here. Hey, look at that. the top. Oh geez. Oh, this mountain lied. We're not at the top yet. Okay, let's keep going. So I'm told there's a green tower. If you stick to the right of it, there's an easier trail without any scrambling. I don't know which one I took. I haven't even seen the green tower yet. Oh, it's a nice lake down there. Wow, look at that one. Okay, let's keep going. So there's a green tower. Um, I don't know if I went up the scrambly way or not. Wow, so that's a great central lake. On this side, the north, 
go inside and then uh, Sprout Lake is gonna be over here. Here's the big green tower thing. It's crazy, they're actually bringing dirt bikes up here. They rode all the way up the way we just hiked. So this is looking towards Sprout Lake. Don't get much of a view here, mostly on the north side. So at the top here, just behind the green uh, tower thing on top of Mount Porter, uh, there's a couple guys that actually came up here in motorbikes and they were telling me they cut a trail up there to um, Iron Mountain. And there's just these orange markers here. You can follow that all the way over there. I don't know if we're doing that today, but you know, if you're more adventurous, that actually continues all the way back to the Sprout Landing, all the way back to town. Okay, so I just climbed up this rock thing, rock wall, nice view up here to the, uh, well, what is this, the west side, southwest, Klitsa up there. If you're following my GPX track, I'm doing a little bit of bushwhacking on the way back, just checking out and seeing if there's extra views out this way.